Half a day, Terawami, and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Monday, October 22, 2012. Over 100 people attended the rally against corruption at the micro intersection Saturday morning. Some residents are saying they will continue to fight for what they believe in. The impeachment resolution was defeated last week by a vote of 10 to 9. However, some concerned citizens are saying this is far from over. I don't think it's over yet. No, I, I'd like to see more of these rallies take place. And yeah. we need to keep going with it and keep the pressure on. This is, this is our island. This is, this is not for a few. It's very overwhelming the support that this movement has gotten. And hopefully from here the momentum will continue. And, you know, things will be better as time goes on after this. I want to support the people's power to be united and to have honest government and justice for all. Cars honked as they passed and people held signs and banners. Some lawmakers attended, saying they were there as concerned citizens. U.S. Congressional Delegate Greg Kalili Sablon. I'm just expressing my opinion that people have, I don't know about the rest, but I've had enough. And I'm a citizen here before I'm anything else. And I'm here expressing my taking a stand as a citizen and just saying enough is enough. One rally organizer, Ed Probst, says the $190 million power plant purchase contract with Saipan Development LLC is one main issue that sticks out in his mind. The only way we can move forward is if we have Governor Fitzgerald uh, impeached. And from there we can start building. It's not going to solve our problems immediately, but it'll help stop the bleeding. And we can start uh, working on things that need to be done. And, and, and above everything else, above everything else, it's that $190 million secret sole source contract that is going to bankrupt our islands. I have three children, and I'm, I'm going to fight for their future. Probe says he will support the nine House members who voted for impeachment. He also says more rallies and events will take place in the future.